In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use the Xbox Ally X for a live streaming setup. Now, I'm not talking about using it for video game live streaming, but for actual interviews and podcasting. So let me show you the setup right here. So here is the Xbox right here, and I'm using StreamYard as our software so we can do these podcast recordings. And the Xbox is really important because you need a computer. So I have the Xbox. I have a keyboard with a built-in trackpad right here. And it's all connected to, I have a screen right here, which we'll see. And this screen is from Asus, and I bought it on Amazon. It's a pro art display, and it's really small, super thin, and it lets the talent see the exact same thing that I'm viewing on here. So I'm just monitoring the display to here. And then on the USBs, on the USB 3.2, I have a capture card hooked directly in to an HDMI going into the camera. And the reason I do it like this instead of having a USB out of the camera is the image quality is actually better. Because as you see, right now this is colored in and I can turn the log on. And so here it's colored in and I can have my own custom colors in the camera. So it's just better image quality. So that and the audio is going directly in the camera. It's a DJI mic going into here on the USB-C. And then I also have this USB-C hub right here. And in the hub, I have two things connected. I have power, and I also have the USB-C that goes in to the screen. And the power is actually coming from this power station, so I don't have to worry about um, you know the Xbox turning off. The Xbox definitely has enough power to do one uh, one hour recording, but I don't know if it has enough to do two because when I'm doing these um, virtual live stream slash podcast, it does chew through a lot of power. Now, I've used the original ROG Ally X to do this, and it only lasted about an hour. The Xbox Ally X is obviously better with the power consumption because that's one of the big things with it. So it'll be interesting to see um, if I don't need this, but I just didn't want to risk it for this live stream podcast recording. So that's what I use for the live streams, and it's a really pretty simple process. And what it lets me do is do these live streams, podcast recordings from anywhere. And I can just bring one device and not have to bring multiple computers with me. So this is going to be part one in a three-part series on how I use the Xbox Ally X for professional video production work. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. There'll be more soon. The next video is going to be editing in DaVinci Resolve on the Xbox Ally X, which you're going to be really surprised on the types of video this thing can handle. And then in November, I'm going to be bringing the Xbox Ally X on set in Atlanta. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.